The package in question is under the brick awning outside the Portland Museum of Art. The Art Museum, by coincidence, just right across the street from our studio here at New Center, Maine. And from our vantage point around 5 p.m., we could see a large police presence, but not the package in question. That said, we have received a few similar eyewitness reports from people who walked by the museum around 2 this afternoon. They describe a large item at the Free Street ent entrance several feet wide and approximately three feet tall, covered in something that looked like hay or feathers. The eyewitnesses all reported an additional spray paint element as well. Now, Jackie Mundry is outside near the scene right now. Jackie, this intersection is normally one of the busiest in the city, surrounded by restaurants and businesses. What's going on there right now? So, Hannah, I'm everyone at home we're improvising a little bit I couldn't get to uh, the studio to get our live unit so I hope you can hear me we're using a cell phone over here but Hannah just as we were in our open and you were talking to me they actually opened up the the tape in the streets so traffic should begin flowing as normal they took all the police tape down literally just a minute or two ago we're still waiting to learn a little bit more about what's going on and what exactly that suspicious package was but it looks like things are all clear now for reference I'm on the other side of the uh, the station Hannah's vantage point was kind of on our weather deck and I'm right across from Otto's Pizza and Starbucks like I said things are uh, kind of opening up they put the police tape away and uh, cars are coming by but yeah Hannah definitely usually a busy intersection there's not much cars not much traffic tonight um we'll learn more we'll keep you guys updated on air and online for now and back to you all right, thank you, Jackie. That, of course, a positive update right there. We can only infer uh, some good things out of that. that. Those roads, they were closed to both traffic and pedestrians for hours this afternoon.